Hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Hi, good evening. I'm fine. Hello, good time. How's today? I'm fine. Okay, that's good. Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh, yes, I can see here. What is the question? Uh, uh -huh. Are we going to have I, are we going to have English classes every day um, um, mm -hmm. with this, with this, um, by videos, by Zoom? Yes, yes. Uh, ah, okay. it's, it's, it's always the same link, uh, Monday through Thursday. It's four days a week. Monday, Tuesday, ah, okay. Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay. So then okay. we have four classes every week. Mm -hmm. We always, have we have free only Fridays. No, also Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh my Friday. God. <laughs> yes. three, day, three days of uh, three days free and four days of that. So yes, okay. now, yes, we have uh, only Friday is the day that we have off, and then you have four classes on right? Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the same time from eight to from nine to ten. And the same link, okay? The link that you use every day, that is the same link that you're going to use until we finish this course, right? So I mean, for 16, and, 16, 16 classes. Okay. okay, when do we finish when this we, course? Okay, let me see. According to this calendar, okay, we have this week, the 4th, the 11th. The 18th, the 25th, I think it's the 29th, because, or the 29th or the 30th, because I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to ask, because uh, uh, there are two dates, the Father's Day, Father's Day is 17th, yeah. and Teacher's Day is the 22nd, sometimes in some institutions, well, the Father's Day is national, uh, holiday, yes. right? And the Teacher's Day in some institutions is also free. Okay, if those two okay. days, if those two days are free, so we finish at the end of this month, the thirtieth. Okay. Hey, can you repeat? I, I can hear you very well. Okay, if uh, if those two days are free, it's going to be on June thirtieth. Ah, okay. Okay, Thank but you. If, if they are not free. Is June twenty fifth. Okay, twenty fifth. Okay, so these okay. are the two tentative dates. But it's almost the whole month. Okay, all June. Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Okay, guys, ready for another fight with the learning process? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, let's kick it. Ready. Yes. I'm ready. You're ready. Okay. Ready. Yes. Ready to go. Good evening. Okay. The way it has to be. Let me just go, let, teacher. Let me just let, let me see. Because I've been fighting all day with a special presentation, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. For example, right now. No, I don't think so. I don't think it's possible to do it anyways. Okay. Okay, this is what we have for today. Today we have pronunciation, right? Okay, good. Let me check the sound. 
Here we go. Hi, let's work on your pronunciation now. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Pronunciation. The letter O. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Not. Top. No. Don't. Do. Food. One. Love. Remember to play the audio program as many times as you need to. It is important for you to notice the difference on pronunciation. We want you to practice a little bit more, so pronounce the following words. Did you get it? Work with me. Lock, hot. Own, wrote. Soon, who. Come, done. Good job. Okay. Now listen again. Hi. Let's work on your pronunciation now. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Pronunciation. The letter O. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Not. Top. No. Don't. Do. Food. One. Love. Remember to play the audio program as many times as you need to. It is important for you to notice the difference on pro Do. Food. Okay. Do. Food. No. Practice. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Not. Okay, and the first one we have, not. Okay, and then we have? Top. Top. Okay, and then we have no. 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 This one is like a short. Okay, this is like short O, and this is like a long O, right? You say not, no, no, stop, no. don't, don't, no. don't, no. 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 Don't. 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 don't do that, don't, don't. do that, don't. don't do that. And in this case, it's do, do, right? do, do. Like food, 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 food. 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 Yeah, this Ooh. one, this one is similar to this one, right? Something like one, 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 one. Love. <coughs> love, 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 not low, no, not low, not long, like short, love, 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 top, no, uh. don't, do, food, one. Love. Remember to play the audio program as many times as you need to. It is important for you to notice the difference on pronunciation. We want you to practice a little bit more, so pronounce the following words. Look. Did you look. Okay. This one? Lock. 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 Lock, right? This is Lock. Like, you know, like a short Lock. 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 Don. 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 Soon. 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 Short. Broad. 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 Come. 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 Listen. It is long. Come. 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 Um, this one? Hot. 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 And? Who? 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 Okay. So this is, you know, basically the, the, the sounds of the letter O. This is for you to see that not always have the same sound, right? It, remember that sometimes is similar, the writing. For example, here or here, only the O, but the, the sound would be like a U, okay? 
Did you get it? Work with me. Lock, hot. Own, rock. Soon, come, done. Good job. Did you get it? Work with me. Lock, hot. Lock, lock hot. Hot. Okay. Soon, who? Soon, who? Soon, who? Come, done. Come, 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 Okay, again, once more. Lock. Did you get it? Work with me. Okay. Lock, hot. Lock, lock, lock hot. Lock, hot. Lock, hot. Lock, hot. Lock, hot. Lock, hot. Yes, lock, hot. Own, road. Own, own, own road. Own, road. Own, road. Rot. 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 This they this is like rot. 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 Soon. Who? Soon. Who? Soon. Who? Come. Done. Good job. Come. 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 Done. Come. Come. Done. done. Come, done. Come down, down. Okay, good. So remember, lock hot. Own rod. Soon. Come down. Okay. That is one thing uh, important to mention, right? That this is similar to the irregular verb. There is not like a specific rule sometimes that uh, you would say, oh, uh, this one. Most of sometimes you can see there is only one, uh, one O and there are consonants. You have to use sometimes some logic, right? But there is not a specific rule that, okay, all the words that have O, W, N, and E, V, or W at the beginning will be a long O or double O because sometimes uh, you have to see soon, full, Okay, but there are some, some differences, right? For example, if you see the word, uh, who has a dictionary or in that computer? And let me see. Let me see, let me see if we can do this. Look in the chat. And what's the pronunciation of these two words? Flu. 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 With the storm, Amanda, many places, many places were floated. 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 Okay, so for example, you have float, blood, door, uh, door. floor. Okay, floor. So you, you see double O, but it's similar, no, it's different from. Oh, good. Good. Soon. Soon. Um. Good, look in the chat, right? Soon. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Good. Okay, so there are double look. O, but there is a, uh -huh. Uh -huh. let's say, look. Okay, look. Yes. Look. 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 Okay. look. Mm -hmm. But if you see, uh, you say here, at uh, the beginning is FL, BL, but this one is only D, door. So there is no specific rule okay so you have to remember that sometimes there are differences right for this pronunciation flood blood door door soon good look okay so then uh, the only way to practice is you know to, to, to use it right to use, to use that okay now questions no i have a question teacher okay Okay, Adriana, huh? Yeah. 
Beatriz. Mm -hmm. Oh, Beatriz, sorry. Okay, yes, Beatriz, go ahead. Um, how can I know what is the verb, what is the best for to pronounce that kind of word? For example, in the, for example, the first one, we have flow, but if you see the last one, we pronounce good, like you. How can I say? How can I say what is the difference, or how can I know how pronounce? Uh, there is no difference. There is no difference. Uh, uh, I mean, there is not a specific rule. That's what I was telling you, right? That there is no practice. Practice. Uh, there practice. is not a rule, but uh, what you can, what I can I would recommend is that sometimes we use. Uh, a dictionaries online okay okay for example the you can use marian yes let me see if i if this is correct marian i think it's like this webster okay in this dictionary sometimes when you enter uh you look for a word let me see if we can if we can do this Wait a minute. I'm gonna try to to share and look for um. Let me see. Can you see the Google? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, okay. Let's see. For example, the Marian Marian Webster here. Dictionary. You go to this link, and here you can type. Uh, Marian Webster. Plus. Okay, so here you can see the this is phonetics, right? This is at different level. Yes. Okay, let me see if you can hear. Let, let me see if you can hear. Let me know. Flood. Did you hear? Yes, oh, I hear. Uh, okay. So this is if you see for example, this is one way you can flood. Okay, flood. And then uh, you have this one. Food. Okay, food. Food. But do you see the symbols here? Yes, it's different. Uh huh. It's different from the previous one, right? Yes. We had a plot. Look, this one that you see a uh, a letter E upside down, right? All right. Uh huh. Una E de cabeza, right? An E upside down. In English, uh, it's a sound that sounds like po. Oh, right, it doesn't, um, it's a sound that doesn't exist in Spanish, okay? okay. This is, for example, when you say, uh, look at this one. Okay, look at, it says sit, but it doesn't. Sit. Sit, not sit. sit. Okay. Sat. That. Okay, and now look at this one. Okay, look. Yes. It, this symbol it's the is the same. It's the it's same. same. Uh -huh. So you can say plus, but. but. Plus, but. but. It's the same. But. You got it? Yes. Okay, Thank so you. This, this is one of the, let's say, uh, the strategies, you know, that you can use when we when you see but you know sometimes our brain is very very smart and then little by little automatically you know we we pronounce the word correctly right okay. uh, and then but when you have a doubt and it's very new word then you can use this dictionary always you know Marianne Webster is excellent 
and, and online, online is one of the dictionary that it has this pronunciation is but, 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 but. Mm -hmm. but. For example, is uh, there are some other dictionaries or other uh, sites or web pages that they have also the sound, but it's like electronic, okay, and it's not uh, it's not very original, okay. This one for me is one of the best sites, you know, for consulting pronunciation. When I have a doubt, okay, I use this one, okay, or okay, uh -huh. so this is the the best option that we have. At Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, good. Now you see the video, right? Yes, here? Yes. Okay, now let's... Now this is, you know, the practice with the sound. Okay. Now, from now on, try to pay attention to the sounds with all that we observe, right? So I will be... Uh, telling you, for example, okay, look, the sound, I will be, you know, giving you some instructions for you to remember the pronunciation, okay? Now, uh, Sergio, can you please read the lesson objective on this, on this lesson here? Okay. In this class, participants will be able to listen and practice a conversation between people asking for and giving information. Participants will also identify the passive with in, a con in context. Okay, with by in context. Remember, yesterday we were talking about the passive voice and using by, right? Yeah. So then, for example, this book was written by my sister because we wanted to know who was the doer of the action. Okay, so here is a conversation. Hi, are you ready to listen to the conversation? This time we will listen to two people asking and giving information. They do so by using passive voice, but this time in simple present. Try to identify the sentences. I will underline them for you as soon as the conversation is over. Conversation. I need some information. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union? I think the euro is used in most of the EU. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Huh? Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Were you able to do it before I did? Nice. Now I want you to answer the following question. No idea. Huh? Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you're... Okay. Okay, can you can you can you see the, the conversation because it seems very small, right? Can you, yeah. can you read it? Yes, more or less. More or less right? Yeah, more or more or less. Less. yes. Okay, but a little difficult, but yes. Yes, uh, yes. I was trying to to zoom it, but it was not possible. Yes, the glass. In the video, yes. Okay, but I will try to. Uh, it says, listen, I say, hello, right? Hello? Oh, hello, I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Okay, so here you can see the passive voice, right? What currency is used in the European Union? And it says, where? The European Union. I think the euro is used in most of the European Union. Okay, I think the euro is used. Euro. It's another, uh -huh, it's another passive form. All right, and is, and is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Oh, well, 
what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would you know? Well, you're a travel agent. How would I know? Sorry, how would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Okay. Poor guy. Okay, he was talking to the hairdresser. Okay, now listen. You're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Okay, there you have the passive voice forms, right? Is used. I think Euro is used. And all right, and the Kindle stick. What much there? If English is spoken. And then, are they accepted? Okay, this is another passive form. Were you able to do it before I did? Nice. Now I want you to answer the following question. What three things does the man ask about the European Union? Write your answers on our discussion box. Okay, what are the three questions that the man asks about the European Union? Okay, I think the euro is used uh -huh, in most of the United States, yes. And English. Currency. Uh -huh, the currency, okay, he asked, for example, what is the currency used in the European Union? That's one question. Okay, what is the other question? If it's English uh, mm -hmm. used in the most of European Union. Okay, is spoken. Yes. What language is spoken? Or, well, what language is spoken in the European Union? Or if it, uh, or if English, is spoken in the European uh, Union, right? You can use both, not both. Okay, and the third one? If the uh, credit uh, cards uh, are accepted everywhere. Yes, and if are, you say, our car, our credit card accepted everywhere, okay? So these are the three, if you see, for example, sometimes we use, and actually that's what you have to use, right? You don't, you don't have to, you don't have to know exactly this right but sometimes automatically we can use this uh, structure you know to practice uh, to practice the language right it's not necessary to to know exactly uh, if it is passive voice or if it is past tense when we speak we don't we don't use uh, the grammar right we just put it into into words okay uh, by the end of this class, you will be able to use passive without by. I'm going to show you the next one so that we can practice the two. With by and without using by. Okay? Now listen to this other video before we go back. Phrase is omitted here. The euro is used in most of the European Union by the people. Cars are manufactured in Europe by manufacturers. Hi, we're back again. Now we'll study passive voice in simple present without by. Please pay attention to the explanation, examples, and exercises. Passive without by. Simple present. For the simple present, use the present of be plus past participle. Active. They use the euro in most of the European Union. Passive. The euro is used in most of the EU. Active. They speak English in many European countries. Passive. English is spoken in many European countries. Active. They manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. Passive. A lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. As we saw with the simple past passive, we change the emphasis when we use the simple present passive. Instead of saying they use the euro in most of the European Union, we can say the euro is used in most of the European Union. The focus changes from they 
to the euro, which is what we're interested in. Okay, remember, this is what I was telling you yesterday, right? When we use the passive voice, it's just a matter of emphasis. Okay, what do we want to emphasize? Here, it's just a sentence. They use the euro in most of the European Union. Sounds, you know, very light. But for example here, uh, you know, I'm going to Spain tomorrow. Oh, really? Okay, uh, and they say, for example, do you have euros? What? Mm -hmm. Euro is used in most of the European Union. Then you emphasize that you need to have euros when you travel to, to Europe, right? So then the focus changes from they to the US. Then, follow me here. I have these passive sentences to demonstrate how the by phrase. Okay, why, do, why is by in parentheses? Because it's optional, it's not, it, it is not necessary. Why is not necessary, Sergio? Because the emphasis is in the, in the object, in the, the euro or yeah. in the cars. Okay. Any, anybody else who wants another opinion? Uh, because maybe, the, maybe. Because you have the yeah. action. In, sorry, sorry. Continue. Uh, but uh, the person is included in the, in the sentences. How? How is the this person is included? Implicit. Implicit. It is implied. Uh, it is implied. implied. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ronix? Because when you say the euro is used in the, the, the uh, European Union, it's logic, right? Yes. Obviously, it's not a dog, it's not a horse, it's not an elephant. Okay, it's the people that use the money, right? The people. So then, they say the euro is used in most of the, the uh, European <laughs> Union. By the people will sound like redundant or like somebody, like Sergei, that you know, unnecessary. unnecessary, right? What it's about the huh? Because the people in, in the EU is going to, to use it. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And the second one? Cars are manufactured in Europe by manufacturers. Mm -hmm. It's redundant, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like it's the a, same. A, the uh -huh. same ciudadano de la ciudad. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> the, sing, yes. the singer the singer sang the song. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, okay. uh, it's, it sounds not like unnecessary. Okay, good. Phrase is omitted here. The euro is used in most of the European Union by the people. Cars are manufactured in Europe by manufacturers. What I want you to notice is that the doer of the action in each of these sentences is obvious or not important. So the by phrase can be easily omitted. So this takes us to our structure. And because we're using simple present passive, this is what we have to work with. Is R present of B plus past participle. Can you now take a look at the following images and come up with one sentence using passive in simple present? Please write your sentence on our discussion box and ask your teacher to check it out for you. Sentence participle work with is R present of B Plus past participle. Can you now take a look at the following images and come up with one sentence using passive in simple present? Please write your sentence on our discussion box and ask your teacher to check it out for you. Okay, good. Now, if you see, that's why sometimes it's a passive without by. Sometimes this is the reason why it's not necessary to use by, but you are using the passive, uh, passive voice. For example, we can say that uh, Toyota cars are manufactured in Japan, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Toyota cars or Toyota, yes, Toyota cars are Or in Mexico. Or in Mexico, right? <laughs> we don't need to say by manufacturing. We, we omit that part, okay? We just say the place where it is manufactured, okay? Uh, what else? We have 
have this right here for the second box. And then you have the knowledge check. I'm sorry, I have a question. Okay, go ahead. Uh, can you repeat the structure for simple present passive, please? The structure? Yes. Wait a minute. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Let me, let me see if we can. Okay, this one, I said, um, tell me a sentence in simple fashion. I, for example, uh, I uh. broke the window. Okay, this is a sentence in active form. Okay, active voice. Okay, so here you have the, not, the one that we usually use, right? Yes, it is. Uh, what about if I want to change this sentence, okay, into? a passive form. Then remember, this is the subject, correct? This is the action. The window was broken. Uh -huh. And then I use the window. the window. Okay, remember the, the object, the, the, the object is after the verb. Then is the subject in the passive form. Mm -hmm. The window was, it was because it was tense, Broken. Broken. Okay. By. By me. By me. By, by my hand. By Eric, because Eric said by me, right? So, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. By me. Good one. Okay. But you know, uh, and, but it's very common. It's very common uh, that, we, for example, children said, "Who broke the window?" Mm. I don't know. It broke. Right? The rompió. What happened to the window? I don't know. It broke. What happened to the glass? I don't know. It broke. They never say the glass was broken by me. So they say, no, the glass was broken. Who did it? I don't know. Okay. Or a ghost. Or a ghost did. Yes, no, a ghost did. All right. So this is the structure. I remember that when we use uh, a here without this one, you can use I broke. The window, so the window was broken, and then you can use by. And then you can I, write there the responsible. I have a question. Uh huh. Okay. Um, we can use the passive voice in any 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 tense. Yes. In past, present. Mm -hmm. In past, present, future. The for example here, if you want to use. He, uh, let's say he, he breaks, he breaks window. Okay, he breaks the window. Okay, he breaks the window. And the, the passive voice will be, the window is. The difference is that you will use here, Mm -hmm. If you use the present, then you're going to use the verb to be in present. Okay? Uh, he will. Future. He will break the window. The window. What is the will future be. of? Uh, will be, correct. It will, will be. Broke. Will be broken. Will, okay. will be broken. Uh -huh. Remember that the future of the verb to be is will be. Okay, a present perfect. He has a, let me see, broken. He has broken the window. The window has mm -hmm. has has been broken. Exactly. 
There you go. Thing, uh -huh, has been broken. Okay, here, if you see, because with the present perfect, we use the past participle, and here we also use the present participle, right? But here, the difference is has been. Okay? So you can use it in any tense, okay? There is no restriction. That, that's what I told you yesterday, that uh, the, um, uh, the passive voice is not a tense. The passive voice is a different way to say things only, okay? Any other question? Teacher, would you like repeat the sentence? The windows is broken and the passive is the passive. Yes. No, the the passive is the window is broken. Okay. Uh -huh. the passive. And the active is the wait a minute. But you were talking about the I present. broke broke the win the windows. The present or the past? The present. The present breaks. He breaks the window. He breaks the window. He uh, breaks. He. Uh -huh. Okay. He breaks. breaks the windows. He breaks uh, the windows. Uh -huh. He breaks the windows. He breaks um, the windows. That's, it's in the chat. Okay. okay. And, the, and the past? The, no, the, the, that's the present. Active. Okay. Okay. Active. Okay. okay. Uh, and then if you want to have it in, in past tense, Say he broke. He broke. Ah, okay. The wind. Okay. That is. He active. Broke. Okay. Okay. Active. Okay. You, you can see in the chat the two first the two sentences. Now okay. if you change, he breaks the window. You say the window is broken. Is the is the present? Is the present. Uh huh. And yes. if you want to use the past tense, the window was uh -huh. broken. Ah, okay. Like the past, okay. Always, you're going to use all. We, when we use the same, uh, the passive form, we always use a form of the verb to be. Okay. okay. If it is present, it. If it is past, was or were. If it is future, it will be. Present perfect has been. Okay. If it, okay. Are, if it is in past perfect, has been. Okay. Have been. Have been. Yes. Adriana. Thanks. Okay. Do you have a question, Ariana? I see your no, no, thank I see, you. I see your hand up. Is is the 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 question before the okay. answer? Right, right. Thank you. Okay. Any other question, guys? Yes. Yeah. Oh, for the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Ronnie, and then Kevin. Hi, huh, Ronnie. Hey. How how is the in with present continuous? Present continuous, okay? For example, yes. uh, suppose I'm going to use another one. Uh, uh, let me see. They are painting the house. Okay, somebody gave me this example yesterday, I guess. They are painting, painting the house. Painting the house. That is what? They are painting mm -hmm. the house. Put in the chat. They are painting the house. Correct? Now, what could be the, 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 the passive form or the passive the house? Form? Okay. The, the house, house is painting. painting. The house mm. is, okay, in the form is, of, ver of the verb to be? Is painting. No, because if, okay, uh, okay, I will, I will write this, but this one is, Different, okay, just for you to see the difference. The house is painting, painting by day. The house is painting them. Okay, that's not passive form. You are mm -hmm. saying that the house is alive, the house has harm, and the house is painting the people. Okay. But if you say the house is
Okay. What about that one? Mm -hmm. Did you see the three sentences? Yes. Okay. Is there a difference? Yes. Okay. The first one. The first one is the the active, right? The active. Yes. That yes. Some people are painting the house. Okay. The other one, the house is paint, painting them. Grammatically, is correct, but logically, only in, only in, in Alice Wonder in Wonderland or something like that, right? <laughs> yeah, probably in, in one of those movies that have a lot of fantasy. Yes, but the other one is that the house is being painted by by them by them by myself. By them. By John, by uh, by Teddy, okay, by Ted, but then that's different. All right. Hey, teacher, mm -hmm. uh, always uh, I use object now because it's the finally the sentences. Yes. Remember that you have three parts, right? You see in the chat? Can you see the mouse in the chat? Yes. Yes. Okay. Then, for example, this one. Here you have a uh, subject day. Okay, painting, okay, painting is the action, and the house is the object. Remember, the object is always after the bear. Okay? So in this case, the, the third question is the only is in passive voice. The third one? Yes, the third one. Yes, this is the passive voice. This is okay. according, this is an active form. The house is painting them. It's an acting form, but as I told you, it's a, like a joke, right? Like, you know, probably in a movie. Okay, in a movie for children or cartoons that you can see that they, like for example, the movie Cars. Have you seen the, that movie, Cars for children? Yes. Okay, the, for example, the, the, the cars will speak. Uh -huh. Okay, and then for example, you can say, uh, the car fix the cars, right? Okay, so in that case, you can say the car is being fixed. For example, you can say the, the Toyota is being fixed by the, I don't know, by the Ferrari. Okay, but it has to be the context of the movie, right? But not okay. in this case. In this case, it's different, right? Okay, but yes, the idea here is that you can use all the tense and that you have to be careful with this. This is the emphasis. Use a form of the verb to be. For example, if it is present, the uh, progressive is being. Okay, if it is past progressive. Past. Mm -hmm. Suppose if I use they They were painting the house. Okay. Uh, they were painting. Uh huh. What would be the the passive form? The house the was house. was house? painted by by them. Repeat, Adriana. The house was painted by by them. The house. That would be simple past. Simple past. Uh -huh, that's simple past, but I'm using here the house past painting. progressive. It's similar, similar to this the one. The house is being painted by them. Excuse me? The house is being painted by them. That's present. Mm -hmm. Present, yes. Uh -huh, but in past? The house was being painted by them. Okay, there you go. Okay, if you see the house, the object, after painting, what do we have? The house, correct? The house. The house so was being painted. Okay, the house now is the subject. Okay, was being 
painter. Okay, this is the, let's say the active form of passive voice. Okay. The house was in painted. Uh -huh. And what is what is what what are we missing? By them. By them. Okay. That's the doers. Mm. The doers, right? Mm. Okay. So you have the house was being painted by them. The doors, yes. Mm -hmm. So you have the house is now the, the subject. And here was the object. Was being painted is the action. And who is painting the house? Them. Okay, here we can use names. By we can use by Antonio and Herbert, by Robert and Kevin, and you can use names. Okay, so you see here we have a uh, present, we have simple present, simple past, present progressive, we have past progressive. Okay, we can use future or any past. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. Just remember the problem in this moment. You have an idea, right? Okay. So, uh, it's good that you know all this, but concentrate in the past tense. If you can uh, generate other tenses, perfect. Let's do it. No problem. Okay. Don't don't limit. Don't limit or don't uh, try to stop yourself. Okay. If you can produce more, do it. Okay. But uh, uh, because we're gonna have a uh, more practice on this, okay? This is this is not the end. Okay, this is just uh, the beginning. Okay, now uh, sentences or other expressions that you would like to use. Let's try to use expressions using or sentences using the passive form. Anything that comes to your mind. Passive. Yeah, using passive form. Anything, anything that comes to your mind. In any sense. Teacher? Yes, yes. Anything that comes to your mind. Okay. Billie Jean is sung by Michael Jackson. Billie Jean is sang, okay. By sing. Michael Jackson. Uh -huh. Sing, sang, song, right? Sure. You can say, for example, Billie Jean is sung by Michael Jackson. Okay. And that is uh, in present, right? We're using it in present, okay? Another sentence. My homework is done. My homework is done, very good, excellent. Okay, yes, you know, my homework is done, it's finished. Okay, I come, for example, you can use an active form and say, uh, I finished my homework, mm -hmm. okay? I finished my homework. I in past tense, you can say, I finished my homework, it's done. Okay, this is the active in the past, in the passive, you can say my homework is done. What else? You see, there are some expressions that we already know, that we already use. Okay, try to bring them to your, to your memory, to your mind in this moment. Teacher. Yes, sir. It's correct say, um, the computer, was being repaired for the technician. Mm -hmm. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's, an act, it's an action that was happening in the past. Yeah. Okay. And the other way, mm -hmm. other way we can say the technician repaired the computer. Repair. Uh -huh. Repair. Repair the computer. For yeah. example, you can say that you know, the computer was being fixed or was being repaired by the technician when, when what? Mm -hmm. The uh, coronavirus is, done, is, is over. No, because it's in past tense. The computer mm. was being fixed by the technician when, what could be a... The computer is down. 
What? The computer is down. No. Or is broken. No. No, because the technician, the computer was being fixed by the technician. <laughs> when? When it was broken. When it, when it was broken again. Or when the technician, uh, say when the technician got sick. So what happened? We. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's a confusion. I mean, he was already doing it, but he didn't fit. Mm -hmm. Yes. For example, suppose if you say, uh, well, the computer was being fixed, you know, uh, by the technician when he got sick. Okay. So, so that means that he hasn't finished the job, right? Okay. Okay. Make sense, everybody? Hmm. Okay, so the computer was being fixed. In another, in other words, in a, in a taxi voice, we would say, "Okay, uh, the technician was fixing my computer when he got sick." Then, obviously, he didn't finish, right? Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Right. Other sentence. Another sentence. Teacher. Yes, Evelyn. Is similar, Eric. Copy. No. <laughs> we are. We are the champion. Is a song from Queen. It's a song. Uh, song. But yeah, but that's not a. That's not a passive form. It's a song. Uh, by, it's not an action. Uh, yes. Well, it is. The thing is that that is in a different way. But you can say it's a song composed by Queen. You know what happened with that expression, Evelyn, is that it will sound redundant, okay? Okay. If you say, for, if we say, for example, We Are the Champions is a song sung by Queen. Okay? So by then, Queen, okay. Uh, so it's better if you say uh, it's sung by Queen. So you omit the, the song, song. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Nice. Okay, anybody else? The dollar is used by Salvadorian. The dollar is used by Salvadorian. Okay. Yes. Quack, quack, quack. Yeah, yes, yes, that's true. What else? Another one? We are in quarantine by COVID 19. We are. Coronavirus. We have, I guess, but. Uh, yeah, but it says we are. We are isolated. Ah, I think. By isolated. Uh, yeah, that would be the best word. We are isolated by the coronavirus. Okay. Okay, that's the reason why we are ready. Okay, good. Okay. Another one. Lloyd, the breakfast was made by my sister. Yes, I'm gonna repeat. The breakfast was made by my sister. Okay, yes. Today's breakfast or the breakfast was made by my sister was prepared by my sister good okay excellent siomara you're there hello siomara okay go jaime tell me we 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 pay attention by the class online we pay attention by the class one. Uh, the thing is that, for example, you have to use the verb to be. Okay. Okay. And this is, uh, for example, you have to think about uh, another action where you are using the verb to be. Okay. okay. Uh, yes, Jorge. Uh, Floyd was killed by the police. Okay. Uh, what was the, the last name? Floyd, right? Floyd. Floyd was killed. Uh -huh. Killed, was killed by, the police. by the police office, by a police officer, right? Or you can yeah. say the name, right? By the, yes, that's correct. It was killed. Another one? For example, this class is possible by technology. This, uh, this class is possible. Possible. Possible by technology. Uh -huh, but that is an idea. It's possible. 
Okay. Think about a bear. Huh? The cow is no. uh, it's it's being possible. Is being possible by technology. It's being possible. But how about your possible is an adjective, it's not a verb. I have to say it's being. Uh huh. But possible is not a past participle. Okay, for example, this class is being, uh, for example, is being, uh, oh, this class is being online. It's being, it's being, online. Uh, it's being, it's being, being conducted. It's, it's being, being transmitted. It's being, online. Ah, it's being okay. transmitted. Uh, it's being streamed by, or by, let's say, by Zoom. By Zoom. Uh -huh. Zoom application. <laughs> by Zoom, yes, by Zoom. Okay, then you can say, for example, this uh, class is being streamed. By Zoom. Yes. Okay. You see, you can, well, there are some, uh, well, I think uh, uh, tomorrow I will also show you, I guess it's a good idea that you see that, remember the direct object. Do you remember the transitive verb? Before you didn't, in the previous levels, you didn't study the transitive and intransitive verb. Don't remember? I remember, I think. Okay. Anybody remembers that? Okay, for example, you have a transitive verb when you can say, for example, when you can answer the question what or who. Okay. Example, if I say uh let's say for example, eat. Okay, eat, eat what? food okay then you can say if you can answer eat the answer the question what then you have a transitive verb then you can use an object okay and then uh, for example think about another think of, tell me another verb any verb run what run run okay for example a uh, if I say sometimes run I ran what? A career. Okay. But when you're talking about people, probably I ran who? In that case, uh, for example, it's not possible. Right? So sometimes some verbs can be used with the passive voice, and sometimes there are some others that cannot be used with the passive form. Okay. So that's what we're going to study tomorrow so that you can have another idea. Okay, uh, for tomorrow, uh, write sentences, you know, or just think about sentences in different tenses, okay? How and many? Three, Sorry? Uh, five minimum, five minimum. Five. Okay. Okay, and then uh, if you can write more, no problem, okay? But write sentences using different uh, tenses. Uh, tenses with a passive form, to be present, to be past, okay? And, and try to use... Uh, the verbs in past part. And then tomorrow we check them. And I will and I will show you some other details about the passive form. Okay. So okay. that's all for tonight. Have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, relax and stay safe. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night, everyone. Bye. Hey, good night, good night, everyone. Thank you. Okay.